What's going on guys and welcome back to some more Super Mario RPG in the last part uh, We made it to Montreux Town in this part. We're gonna uh, explore a little bit of Montreux Town and see what they're up to and uh, Yeah, it's been a few days since I uh, last uploaded I had a few life things coming the way, but I got to turn my headphones uh, volume down But uh, there is one thing though. I did off screen. Remember that guy that gave us the attack scarf. I heard you rocking for jumping. It stands at 100 right now. Yeah, I did all that off screen. And uh, for my source to also jump more than 100 times. Proving your point. So I decided to do all that off screen because the main reason is that. The main, the, pretty much the big reason is that it can take me anywhere between five minutes and an hour to get 100 super jumps. And I did not want to show all that on. I did not want to just repeat, show repeated fail attempts. But anyway. We got the super suit, which look at those attack stats. And also, unlike the attack scarf, that only Mario can equip, anybody can equip this. I recommend giving Mario both the super suit and the attack scarf because, and once that happens, Mario is pretty much going to become your dominant team member. You there, rumor has it you're quite an accomplished jumper. And maybe out jump, but you're totally out pumped. Strong silent type A. Don't you dig these vibes? I think a few more times. Don't you dig these vibes? I think it's one more time. You want to do this enough time? I think I will try it one more time for good luck charm. Yeah, I think it's uh, once you get up there, we get uh, we get the temple key. So let's go back to Belone Temple. Actually. You bet your ass I was going to try to do the Star Trek again. You can actually do this as many times as you want, and, uh... Wait. Can you not do this? Oh, I guess you can only do it. I guess I was wrong. You cannot do this as many times as you want. Anyway, so, what we want to do is get the message to say sorry and All right, yeah, you want to say that, because if we use the temple key... The key you have there looks pretty tasty, give him the key. And look at all this we can get. Look at all the stuff we can get out of this. Okay, frog coin, frog coin, frog coin, frog coin, frog coin. That is like six frog coins. Like, uh, we already have 17 frog coins. A flower, flower, that's uh, four additional flowers. And uh, we also get a fire bomb, a royal syrup, and a max mushroom. However, I'm gonna cut back to Monster Town, so see you guys in a second. When I realized I could warp there, I didn't even need to cut. I'll still cut out that bit anyway, but, uh... There's, wait, there's this little door but we can't exactly go into yet, but, uh... There's a couple... One thing I want to take care of with the item shop. Yes, just a minute. I'll be there in a second. Oh, my! Goomhild... Goomhild, what are you doing here? Bowser, it's been ages, hasn't it? Sorry about going AWOL on you. I ran on it because I was scared to fight Smithy. A lot has happened since then, but look how far I've come. Managing the store now. And look at my little ones. Come on, show your manners. Greet Uncle Bowser. Hi, Uncle Bowser. Although I can't f fight for you, I still have some items you can use. Maybe you'll find your heart figure if I can help you get you equipped. Don't worry. I'm not angry with you. I've got new minions now. We're going to reclaim my castle. You go on with your life here. I wish you the best. I always thought that scene was kind of cute because he goes AWOL and has nephews, but uh, Bowser doesn't really seem to mind. But anyway, we can give him the spiked chomp. And we can equip it, and uh, we can give him the carriage shell, which I think I don't want to equip. But uh, unfortunately, though, I think Bowser eventually over time becomes among your probably your weakest team member. Like, he's a physical wall, but like. Uh, the spiked chain is the last thing we're gonna be able to get him for a while, but anyway, we gotta go here. Who is it? Sorry, but the sensei is an N. Oh my gosh. Jagger. Bowser, I haven't seen you for so long. I've been studying here at the dojo and the sensei jinx because, to tell you the truth, I know I couldn't beat Smithy. That's why I'm here now, so I'm gonna go in and return and make you proud. Don't worry about me. I've got new minions now, we're going to take back my castle. You stick to your guns, train like there's no tomorrow. Talk to him. My sense is there now, we'll hit back shortly. In the meantime, we'll second child for me? Sure. I don't recommend doing this at this part of the game unless you have all the uh, upgrades, but uh. Yeah, we did 350 damage and uh. 142 damage and. B damage. 
Yeah, he just did 90 damage right there. So, uh... He says, yikes, you're tough. Uh, that's how you can tell he, you won. Yikes, I guess that was to be expected. Mario, you're a top-notch fighter. You did well for your inexperienced Jagger. Sensei, have you been here all along? Hmm, you felt my key, didn't you? Not bad for a novice. Your fighting style, it isn't as foolproof as you think. I'll accept the challenge any day. Just challenge me? Yes. You have to fight this guy three times, but I uh, will see where how far we can go. If you lose to him, however, it doesn't count as a game over, so... And you get healed in between attempts, so uh, that did 250 damage. I'm also gonna Gina boost Mario, because uh, he's gonna be our best party member right here. Because we have him equipped and all that, and uh... Peach did 30 damage. And that did 400 damage, and phew, simply amazing. That's how you can tell he won. We're gonna try to see if we can rely on Mario to do these uh, fights. You was challenging me? Yes. All right, you asked for it. No one caring if you're crying if you get hurt. All right, so let's use the Jinx. That did 218 damage, and also, and uh, yeah, she and boost Mario. Also, uh, I think it's the third fight with him. He's gonna use an instant killer move. If you have the super suit, however, it will protect you from that, so. If he's only two da doing two damage, but, um. He's using Valor up, which is defensive, so. Mario still doing over 200 damage. Phew, simply amazing. That's how we can want. That's how we, can, that's, we won that. One more time, we got a really powerful item, which I think we'll give Gino to be honest. You just challenge me? Yes. So, yeah, let's uh, challenge him third. This time, however, he can use a part, an attack that instant. Yeah. Yeah, it instant killed Peach. The bombs away is actually what instant kills party members, but uh, I don't think we'll need Peach for this fight, though. As long as we can keep Mario alive. Actually, let's switch out to, like, uh, Bowser. I guess we can kind of show off. Well, kind of not show off. Mario's doing 200 damage, and... He's doing 20 damage. He's doing Valor up, and he's doing, uh... Oh, I thought he has Viger up as well. Yeah, we can't even get that to hit. Mario's doing over 100 damage. Silver Bullet, that's the insta-kill move. Bowser only did 16 damage. However, I think a couple more hits he should be down and... A couple more hits with Mario, at least. Because we have the Super Suit, though, we are resistant to uh, his, his uh, Silver Bullet and all that. He's using Viagra up with his attack, so... A resistance, so... Something like Bowser actually finished him off. But anyway, we did all three of the Jinx fight, the Sensei fight. So uh, once we do that, we get the uh, we get the Jinx belt, which uh, increases your attack by a lot. Let's just say. So yeah, uh, we're gonna give the uh, Jinx belt to uh, Gino and. Uh, that get, that definitely lowers his that ups his attack and speed by a lot, and we're also gonna give let's give Peach the XP booster. So yeah, I guess all we really have to do left in Monstro Town is uh, figure out where to go next. Not the house I was intending to go in. Oh my, a traveler from afar! Welcome to Monstro Town, where many monsters mingle. I'm the land I'm the landlady, Monster Mama. A star, you say? Oh, you're here to see our star? She's upstairs. Feel free to go take a look for yourself. Yep, 
Yeah, by the way, that's sheet music. That's kind of a hint on uh, what the next Tadpole Pond song's gonna be. So what do you think? Isn't our star adorable? She's so talented, too. Folks, I'm gonna see her from afar. Starbies? No, a star piece. Nope, not familiar with them. So you can't find a way to search for a star piece. It must be really important. The last piece is on land. The last, if you can't find it here, you only place out this up. I want to go there. Hi, you're an open book. So here's what you need to do. There's a secret pass to the sky at Bean Valley. First, you must scale the cliff beyond the desert to get there. Since you're such a nice guy, I'll choose someone that can help you. Bear troopers, I need you. What was our flying time, troops? 8.52 seconds, Sergeant. Paratroopers, we're flying for duty, ma'am. We're, oh, we're 0.52 seconds late. I found myself promised I can't for a delay, ma'am. Still is rigid about your rules and regulations. No more need to bother with the protocol about me, Sergeant. I got a favor to ask you. Yes, ma'am, and everything we do for a civilian. The fellow here wants to get rid of Devine Valley. Could you help him scare the cliff? Understood, ma'am. The orders are get mustache over the cliff and we will succeed. But now deploy ourselves to the cliff at Land's End. So we have that's where we have to go next. However, I would like to one last thing in this video, I would like to go back to Tadpole Pond and get the last of the songs out of the way, since we got the hint where we got the hint what to do, but uh let's go to Tadpole Pond. So, um, I actually think this is the easiest of the songs to actually play, but, uh, I think it's, uh... All right, here it is. Oh, we almost got it first try, but uh, yeah, I know what it, I know what they're looking for now. I didn't read the sheet music and monitor down correctly, but uh, I know what they're looking for now. I mean, also listen to it by ear. I know what they're looking for. I was just missing an octave with the last three notes, so, uh... I was missing two octaves! So, yeah, I was missing two whole oct- I was missing two whole octaves, and I was missing one whole octave. But now I know what they really want, so, uh... Guess who didn't have to look at a guide? Please think of a little more attitude. Um, why don't we play the same song? We're, we have to come with another thing. Why don't we play the same song but an octave lower? That wasn't an octave lower, but I was. We can't play it an octave lower. All right, so this is our song. And 
And that allows us actually to buy none other than Once we actually do this, we can actually, we have the Sprano card, we can buy uh, Coca-Cola, except we're low on coins, so we have to go sell some shit. Uh, first of all, we don't need all these pure waters, that's 300 coins right there. We don't need, I think we, uh, I'll hold on to the Lucky Jewel, but um, maybe we'll sell some weapons, because we have a lot of weapons, let's just say. We don't need any. We don't need Cooper Shell, we don't need Punch Glove, we don't need Finger Shot, we don't need Symbols, we don't need Hand Glove, we pretty much don't need all these weapons. We don't need all these armor either, we don't need, uh, I'd say we keep the Doom Shoes, we don't need the Jump Shoes, we don't need the Antidote Pin, we don't need the Wake Up Pin, we don't need the Fearless Pin, we don't need the True Form Pin. But yeah, we've got some coins back, and maybe let's, uh, sell all our Max Mushrooms. Yeah, so I guess I'll cut it off as part of Super Mario RPG. So next time on Super Mario RPG, we are going to go. Actually, let's work back to Monster Town so this is more appropriate. Next time on Super Mario RPG, we're gonna go to Land's End. See you guys then.